This is code.org. I'm working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm working on Unit 3, Animation and Games. I'm on Lesson 6, Sprites. And uh, Part 3, let's see what we have here. Sprites. A sprite is the name we give it to a collection of values in Game Lab that represent characters in a story, animation, or game. A sprite can be stored in a variable with a label. And remember, a variable is that thing that represents something else. So in math, if I say x plus 2 equals 4, do we really mean x? x plus 2 equals 4? No, x is representing. It's a variable that represents 2. And variables can change what they equal, right? Maybe in the next problem we have x plus 5 equals 10. Well, that means in that problem x equals 5. Okay, so anyways, uh, that's there's variables in code too. So a sprite can be stored in a variable with a label, but unlike values you've stored in variables before, such as numbers, a sprite lets you store many related values all under the same label. Oh, cool, it's going to explain. Creating a sprite. You can create a new sprite using a create sprite block. One, this sprite and it's going to explain this image. One, the sprite as drawn on the screen. In this case, our sprite is located at 200, 200, because it's dead center, the center of the screen, and has assigned the animation bunny. The create sprite block, which creates a new sprite at 200, 200, which must be this one. Okay, so we make a variable, and then we have the create a sprite, and assigns it to the variable label my bunny. The label's this thing, my underscore bunny. Interesting that they use underscores. Not Note that just, crea just creating the sprite doesn't yet draw it on the screen. And that's kind of confusing. It's not going to draw it yet. That will happen later. The sprite.setAnimation block assigns an animation or image to the sprite. In this case, we're using an animation named bunny, which has added, which was added in the animation tab. Right here is what they're talking about. Right, sprite with this set animation method and then bunny. Uh, which was, yep. Notice that instead of the default variable named sprite, we've updated this to my bunny dot set animation so that it changes the animation of my bunny sprite. Because sprites are just values stored as variables, they don't automatically get drawn on the screen. The draw sprites block tells the game to draw all of the sprites that have been created onto the screen. Interesting. So that's pretty helpful. Okay, let's go ahead and keep going.